Hi guys, welcome. I just promised Demon Killer, this guy here. I made a video about his latest achievement. But let's start with an overview. At Arcanlex, we want you to provide an, an easy, beautiful, efficient Arch Linux based system, right? 22 desktops, 26 ISOs, lots of choices, lots of tools like the Articling Street tool. And also at some point in time, if you say, I just use it for browsing, <laughs> mailing, right? That's it, fine. But there is the possibility to build the ISOs yourself and actually start your own spin-off based on Carly, based on the Articling B ISOs, based on our ISOs, Articling any of the 26. And with ALCI combined, there is so much knowledge to start your own spin-off. And that's basically what's happening. There are a few in the pipeline and one of them already has uh, received a video from me, Aravali Linux 6, right? So that's Plasma. And there is Xero, Xero Linux that has uh, also created a spin-off. Hefter Linux is an old spin-off in the sense that Brad Heffernan was a core member at Arclex, but he has too much work and he just has to prioritize. And that's also one uh, a spin-off, but then from Brad Heffernan. And then we have Vicious Linux, we have Bobo Linux, and there he is. So these are the guys that somehow I influenced or the project Arclex, Carly, LCI, they were influenced at some point in time and um, used the knowledge to create their own thing. So this is the Arch Linux GUI installer. At Arclex, we want you to learn. And in Arclex D, you have the phase five, Arch Linux wiki installation. Do it by, via commandos, via code you type it in and it's in a tty it's a black screen probably feels very geeky and and very matrix like but it's just code and after a while it just makes sense that you format hard disks and that you make a swap and so on but this is skipping everything and like in the alci we want to skip everything we want to have an arch linux installation fast efficient and we use Calamaris for it. So that's what I'm gonna show you. That's the website, archlinksgui.in, and you'll find more information. On SourceForge, there are a few of these guys. I'm gonna download uh, XFCE, since the GNOME is, is definitely not working, but that's because of Wayland. There we go, Firefox and, uh, sorry, uh, VirtualBox and Wayland, they do not love each other at this particular moment in time. So be aware of that if you want to try out GNOME. It's a little trick you need to know. Uh, you can say Wayland enable equals false. If you type that in the etc slash gdm slash custom.conf. Where is the information? Arch wiki, right? Always go to the Arch wiki. And then, I know it's a forgotten art, read. We just uh, leave out the F word. We don't like the F word. We are all about good vibes. So, but it is the point that you learn an Arclinux and we send you to this, to the Arch Wiki. False, let's see what false there is. False, false, false. Voila. Wayland enable equals false. That's just for the guys on virtual machines. I don't know, VMware haven't tried that or QMU, but certainly VirtualBox. So downloading XFC and pausing so I can continue. It's almost finished downloading, as you see up here, but maybe uh, use the time to show you the button. Maybe we never clicked on this button. And actually, <laughs> it's a lot of information in there, right? If you're from the US, you go for Las Vegas, United States, and so on. 
Kenya, right? Canada is here. The Netherlands, Australia, Austria, sorry, Germany, Latvia, uh, both, oh, Dirk, Dirk. So, almost there. So choose something that uh, downloads fast, that's close to you. Not always distance that matters, it's often the actual backbone <laughs> that's fast. Let's pause again. So, it's finished. We take a super F7, we go to our templates, we make a clone, ALG, next clone, you mount whatever ISO you have downloaded. So the GNOME was a no-go for me because of the Wayland situation and VirtualBox will work just fine if you are on real metal as they say a real computer system Linux and all these spin-offs that used to be that will be Right, it's all about choices. Here it starts, a wallpaper, a cursor, icons, and we're off. Right, it's all about how big do these icons need to be? What menu will we take? What settings do we want? It's all about choices, all the time. Now I have to look, how do I install this thing, right? No. I'm just a user, just like you guys, and I say, probably gonna be this one. It's the application Calamaris we're gonna use, so this might have worked as well, but it depends, right? It depends how you write this. So install was a good thing to do. And there, yes, that's Calamaris for you. That's the version. And you can, as you see, customize it with colors and icons and, and images and all that. That's nice. And it's free. And it's for so many projects. And um, we really love these guys. They listen to the user and we can do all kinds of things, encrypting, not encrypting. We can change from BTRFS or uh, X4 and all that. We can change all these things if we want to. So, no swap for me, X4 standard, next. And off we go. And then some images. So ALG stands for Arch Linux GUI, so graphical user interface, click. Easy to install, vanilla Arch Linux. Oops, it's gone again. Four desktops, one them to choose. Encryption, use locks, fine, and less memory and all that. Okay, you read, you read, you read. <laughs> By the way, I use Arch. Then you can say that. Whoa, I almost closed it. <laughs> So we have to wait till the image is, is moved to the future system, maybe some technical information for the guys who want it, right? What's happening right now? Ah, an image is unzipped. The image is like a zip or tar GZ or something, but it's different, of course. It's something else. And this is the future system? No. This is the squashed file system and the future system I'll show you later. So here we have all these elements. I can check already what will be installed. The package list is there and EFI is there. The loader is there. Syslinux is there. 
count spaces here. So this is running, it's working to run. So it's busy. Where is it doing things? In here. This is your future system. So that's interesting to know. That's that's what is well, he's continuing here with the make init CPIO. So basically it's working here. He's now writing 5.5, 6.1, 6.6, 7.1. He's making this. And always takes a little bit of time. Now, in any distribution, this is just Calamaris knowledge, right? In any, any distribution, you can actually go inside a root if it lets you. Um, we have a right mouse click, open to Nara's root, thank you, root, control H, cache, Calamaris. If you think Calamaris is for some reason locked because it says removing 22 packages and it has been saying that for a while, open the session log, not with LibreOffice, but something else, Atom, Sublime Text, Genie, something else, and see. Oh, go away and just scroll down and these are the elements that's you can see 22 09 17 seconds is busy and then it jumps here right 10 seconds every 10 seconds it gives you a message it's so it seems so you know it's busy don't think it's crashed and now you know because of the log file there done applies to all calamarises right whoa we're wooden and my name is Dubois and Dubois in French is... yes Eric Woods or something <laughs> these icons are too small for me <laughs> but I get it I have a very poor eyesight I've given my eyes to Arcolinux to you guys but okay I'll make it bigger right and right mouse click desktop settings all the wallpapers I'm sure he will thought will have thought about it backgrounds maybe in here something no XFCE the standard ones uh -huh. no not not XFCE a squirrel why not a squirrel of this all right now it's it's just your regular machine right Control t and then we update our system wow our own uh, alias exists cool <laughs> hadn't expected that so that's clear and then up all maybe does that exist as well no okay so alias type alias aha uh -huh. sudo remove rns mm. Okay, install, mm -hmm. local install, yeah. Uh -huh. Remove, okay, search, uh -huh. search local, mm -hmm. unlock, good thing. Update, ah, there he is. And then the version. That's our ISO thing. When we, when we type ISO, we get actually the LSB release, I think, not the OS release. Anyway, similar, good thinking. Voila, he's, he's updating, right? He's, um, and then you can, can have questions like, do I have Paru, right? Do I have Paru available? Yes, I have it. Paru, Spotify. Okay, Paru, Spotify. I can install it. So we did an update. Update, Eric, not update. Three lines. Three lines, that's it and Pac-Man does not exist but we can quickly make one if we wanted to but hey let's just open up Pac-Man like any other Arch Linux distribution you say oh wouldn't it be nice I would have Multilip as well or let's see if it's version 6 already Parallel downloads equals five for both package list. Yes, color no. I love candy. Was it that? I love candy. Control X. Yes. And then we update. Yeah, we have a little Pac Man now. You see, quickly, yellow thing there. And Multilove is active. 
And on it goes, right? Is J available? J is not available. So paru J bin one. I've got them both now. Oh, <laughs> I think that's this. I want to get out. I said, oh, because of uh, VI kicking in. I don't pretty, I don't like very much VI, although I have thought it, ta taught it is better. Thought and taught. I taught it at university and it's all gone. It's just simple gone. So there it is. We can install stuff. It's your standard Arch Linux thing. And yeah, you can do whatever you want with it. Change all kind of icons, maybe icons, icons. Let's see what is available. We have Cookier Dark and Cookier Wind Dark. That's the themes and Tela Circle and Tela Dark and the fonts. I always try to tell in videos Guys, play around with fonts because it is really a completely different look if you, 11, right? <laughs> if you change your fonts, your system is so different. And maybe you like it. Maybe you can read it now, right? It's choices, always choices. A little bit bigger. Select, monospace regular, everywhere. Play around with the subpixels. Can you read it better? Right mouse click the panel. Panel properties is the whisker menu. Well, it's a choice. Do we want that? Do we want it like this? Do we want it not smaller but just normal? Wow, right? So I guess we have small as size, still big enough, right? Background opacity, love background opacity. So I can look through the, the wooden structure there. This is a bit small, the panel, for my size, right? I, I, eyesight problems, so you go change it. Panel, is it properties? No. Uh, close, wrong thing. Right mouse click, panel, panel preferences, yeah. What's also interesting is doing this. Right, it's, it's a strange look. Uh, horizontal, lock panel. Um, move it over here. Ever tried it doing like this or doing it like that? Be in control, be in control. Hmm. Automatically increase the length. Keep that on. Appearance. Opacity. Enter. Leave. Can play with this. But this is for me. That was a bit too small for me. So 22 is already a little bit better. To click on the correct icons here. <laughs> so. Guys, have fun. This is just your plain arch. And I'm pretty sure if we wanted to you can add article link stuff to it but that's not the point of the video I just wanted to support demon killer here with um, his, his spin-off or his his vision how to play with all the lego blocks that arch Linux and the aor guys let's not forget the aor guys paru yay and all the things spotify they come from the aor arch user repository meaning that's you right a user makes a package build and we can build packages and have fun with thousands of applications and themes and icons and all that. All right, enjoy. Cheers.